Retail, everyone. We're going to look at the goals from midweek in the Carabao Cup penalty shootout win over Nottingham Forest. We're going to jump straight in away. Newcastle scored just after 18 seconds. So, as we can see, Joe Linton's got the ball here and is looking for a counter attack. Newcastle get plenty of bodies forward. If we move on to the ne next slide, the one thing I love about Tonali's obviously big return is his one touch passing. Numerous of times we've seen that, in particular the first half. He's so good at it. And in this play, it's a one-touch pass to Almiron. And then we've also got Joe Willick circled here because he's the man who gets up and scores. But I, I mentioned Tonali just there. If we move the slide forward, Almiron spins. And Almiron does not get enough credit, I think, for this. Because Almiron plays a first-time ball through to Isaac and it's, it's it's an incredible pass which hasn't been talked about by anybody of course the situation helps with Forrest bringing the defender out I don't know what he's doing because that leaves Almir on time quick thinking to get it in behind where Isaac can run into the space which circled you have to say Forrest defender stepping out there is really helping Newcastle get on the counter Almir on slips the ball through and Isaac is running through on goal Move on to the next slide, you can see Isaac starting to bear down on goal. Keep an eye on the runners at the bottom of your screen. Isaac is now about a heavy shot, which I have to say their goalkeeper is absolutely massive, isn't he? And as we reverse the camera around, you can now start to see the three lads, which is Sean Longstaff, which is Willock and Tenali. I'm going to circle them, three of them getting forward on the counter, so... Isaac, obviously, being a striker, his first instinct, instinct is to get a shot. But obviously, if Isaac was to pull it back, he does have three runners up with him as well, so he's got that option. But Isaac has the shot. The lads are bursting. They've got to get it in the box. The goalkeeper saves it. Maybe, if I'm being critical, we should hang on to it because he's palmed it into a back into a danger area where you've got runners running through. Joe Willick's got an easy tap in, circled them there, just slot, slotted it in the back of the net. He slips over as he shoots. And he gives Newcastle a lead just after 18 seconds. Quite incredible. I don't think we'll score a faster goal than that this season. That is incredibly quick to get off the mark. But we are going to take a look at the equaliser. And it's very basic, simple mark. And which you do have to question who's not picking it up here. And it's difficult to tell, actually. So, Forrest have a throw in from the left-hand side. You think nothing of it, right? And then as we move on with the long throw... We've got so many, it's three against two here, three Newcastle shirts against Forrest's two. We've got it highlighted here, and it causes a slight problem because what I want you to have a look at is I've highlighted Jota, the goal scorer, and then you're probably going to think to yourself, well, Lee, that's Lewis Hall's man, surely. You would think that I've got Lewis Hall circled. But what you don't see in this picture is there is another Forrest player free. If we switch the camera around, you can see now Lewis Hall has got two bodies to mark, because initially I thought, well, that's Lewis Hall's man, but it, you can't blame Lewis Hall when there's two free men. But then if you have a look at the edge of the box, you've got Miguel Miron, Sandro Tonali, and Harvey Barnes. Now, this isn't their fault. This is a managerial tactic, because they've been told to wait on the edge of the box for a throw-in for Newcastle to go on the counter and go on the other end. Now, if one of them was to drop in or the three congested players I talked about before moved across, then that would have been one against one. Lewis Hall would have one, and another Newcastle player would have, say, Jota, for example. But because of the way we've set up, which is one against us, Jota has a shot, free shot, and you have to say, it is an absolutely unbelievable hit. Nick Pope is not saving that. It's literally top right. I've had to circle it. And if I move the camera around around as well, I've had to circle the ball. Again, it's a fantastic hit, you have to say. But questions around that throwing, conceding from a throwing is a little bit alarming. So hopefully that doesn't happen later on the season. And even you'll see now, when the ball's already in the back of the net, the three lads I've mentioned on the edge of the box are still there. So maybe that could be tweaked later on the season. But obviously it went to penalty shootout, Newcastle United won. The fans went absolutely nuts. Because at one stage, Newcastle were behind on the penalties, but Newcastle have got Wimbledon in the next round away from home, a trip to London in the third round of the Cup. So maybe that's a little bit more kinder than what it was last season because we were all fearing it's going to be another top six side once again. But fans absolutely ecstatic. Newcastle are through to the next round. Right, we'll move the focus on to Spurs now, everybody, and we'll see you for Spurs. Take care, everyone. If you haven't seen the last word in the match blog from the Forest game, they're on your screen now.